Today on the show, I try not one, not two, but three kinds of Oreo cookies. Sounds like my kind of three-way. Welcome back to That's Rank, your home for food news and reviews. My name's Chris, and you know who we haven't heard from for a while? Mother flipping Oreo cookies, that's who. And you know what? I'm just so excited to have them back on the channel today. We are gonna go through three different kinds of cookies in one sitting. There is no sense on holding on to these for a future episode. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here today. So first and foremost, we've got this caramel coconut cookie. As well, we've got chocolate marshmallow cream. And then, in celebration of Oreo's 110th birthday, we've got the chocolate confetti cake Oreo. Hey, you know what? Happy birthday, Mr. Christie. I think it's great you're still doing that Oreo thang after all these years. You know, 1912 was a hell of a good year for cookies. First, on March 6th, Oreo starts selling, and then six days later, the Girl Scouts of America are formed. Don't kid yourself, they saw the magic of these Oreo cookies and they wanted in on it. There's no way that was a coincidence. Also not a coincidence, the sinking of the Titanic just a month later. You know, creating the world's most popular cookie just wasn't enough for your world domination, was it, Christy? I'm on to you. Of course, in the USA, they aren't distributed by Mr. Christy, but in fact, by the Nabisco Company, known back in Ot 12 as the National Biscuit Company. Originally, Oreos were sold for 25 cents a pound, which is roughly the size of these packages here, although current inflation would see that up around $6.70. You know what, thank God that hyperinflation hasn't captured the Oreo cookie just yet. Just please don't tell the supply chains. I need to keep my cookies affordable. Now, part of the reason we pay a little bit less for our cookies today is the fact that the ingredients have changed over time. For example, Nabisco replaced the lard in the cookies with non-hydrogenated vegetable oil due to health concerns. Because when I think of taking care of myself, the very first thing I reach for is an Oreo cookie. Anyway, enough of the background. Let's go ahead and dive into these cookies. And I'm gonna start with the two bags that I got in the USA before we migrate into the birthday cookies that I picked up here in Canada. Although for the record, if you bought the birthday cookies in the USA, uh, allegedly there's no difference in flavor between the two. And having eaten Oreos in both countries, I can say that they're probably the same cookie. USA, Canada, it doesn't matter. We're all in this together. So up first, let's give a go to this caramel cookie one. Look, all the cookies today are completely all up in my wheelhouse, but look at this one right here. It almost sounds like a hostess snowball on steroids. Look at that picture on the front. I, I know I'm getting the cookie and not the cake, but holy hell, Oreo, y'all need to make that cake. Oh, there is a great smell in the air right now. Super coconutty, very sweet. It just smells like a happy little dessert. All right, you can see the innards of the cream there. I don't know that you can tell, but there's little specks of coconut pieces in there. I need a more high definition camera because I think y'all are often missing the little pieces that I'm seeing in here, but I'm feeling good. Come on, Oreo, don't let me down. One time for Chris. And frankly, not just Chris, but consumers everywhere. But you know what, especially me, because you know, it's my show. As a cookie, I like this. It's very sweet, but that's because it's super heavy on the caramel and not so much on the coconut. And the lack of coconut is actually a bit of a letdown for me. I'd love to feel that coconut, you know, like pop. Look, look at this right here. It's advertised with nice big chunks of coconut all over that incredible looking cake in the photo. Come on, Oreo. I want you to cocoa nut in my mouth just one time. If they remove the word coconut from the package and just advertise this as a chocolate caramel cookie, like, yeah, it hit the mark spot on. Now that I know what it is, I would still absolutely buy this again, but you have to know ahead of time going in that it's a bit of a misleading advertisement on this here package. All right, we're gonna jump over to Amazon and we're gonna start with Boombox34, who gives these five stars despite the fact they bought them by mistake. Bought them by mistake. I hate coconut and hesitant about trying them, but omga, they were so good. You know, when a coconut hater says that they really liked these cookies, that's not exactly a ringing endorsement for the strength of your coconut. 
Up your coconut game, Oreo. We need Boombox34 dropping the hate on these to know that you did them right. CB Nelson calls these yummy and gives these five stars. Best Oreo ever. But I still wish they would bring back cinnamon bun flavor. CB, word of advice. If you found a new cookie that you feel is the best ever, maybe you don't pine for your former love in the very next sentence. You know, move on, let the past go. Focus on this new and beautiful cookie. Nobody wants to hear that the cinnamon bun is suddenly going to the gym after you pleaded with it to go with you for years. Also, did you see on their Instagram story that they tried sushi last week? You couldn't get them to try anything more exotic than Subway, and even then they only ever ordered the cold cut combo with just a little squirt of mustard. I don't even know who the cinnamon bun is anymore, to be completely honest with you. And finally, Vidu gives these one star and says, tasted like burnt hair smelled with an Oreo outside. Not sure if I got a bad batch, but I ate one of these and they are the worst. Spit out most of it and I threw the bag away. Tasted like burnt hair smells with an Oreo outside. All right, I don't know if we effectively settled anything here today, but we need to move forward. In fact, that includes you, CB Nelson. No more talk about this cookie or the cinnamon bun. Instead, our next contestant is going to be the chocolate marshmallow cookie. All right, judging from the imagery on this here package, it looks like they put the marshmallows inside the Oreo crust directly. And that actually feels just a little bit ominous to me. If you're gonna promise chocolate marshmallow flavored cream, I want the center to have that classic vanilla marshmallow fluff flavor and even bonus points if it's just a little bit sticky like a marshmallow. Also, fun fact, uh, a little bit sticky used to be my online dating name. Well, in terms of smell, I'm not getting anything that's sort of different from a normal Oreo. Uh, but take a look at these, you can definitely see, at least on this side, one side doesn't really have it. It looks like there's just one, but there's a little tiny marshmallow bit in the cookie crust, which was advertised on the box. The cream here in the middle is actually a super dark cream. And I don't even see any additional marshmallows in the middle, although I do see some extra ones inside the crust. Um, anyway, I don't really know what to expect, so let's see what happens here. I'm laughing right now, and uh, oh look, I'm not a fan of this one. It's just a double chocolate Oreo. There's no marshmallows in the cream itself, but outside, the ones that are in the crust there, they're these bizarre chewy bits, and basically what they are, just baked in little pieces of Lucky Charms marshmallows. And that's not the marshmallow flavor that I'm hoping for when I have a cookie, if I'm being honest. It's way too heavy on the chocolate side of things. Uh, nowhere near enough marshmallow in this. Look, if you're a chocoholic, you go get you some because you're not gonna be let down by this, but be warned, the marshmallows in the cookie make the texture uh, just weird and I don't like it. Over to Amazon. Grammy gives these five stars and calls them yummy. My grandsons love these. Uh, no, Grammy, they don't. I know you bought these on sale thinking the boys are gonna love this, um, but they've tried to tell you repeatedly that they don't like it. Somehow you've convinced yourself though that these are their favorite. It's why they don't come over or even call anymore. You need to stop serving these. Carl Cooley feels like these are like if Count Chocula had a baby with a marshmallow giving these four stars. Distinctly chocolatey. The filling is like a Count Chocula flavored marshmallow with bits that get stuck in your teeth. Uh, yeah, that's a full stop for me. I don't want to imagine Count Chocula having a baby with any object, inanimate or otherwise. Uh, thanks, I can't unsee that now. Finally, Breh gives this one star and calls them disappointing. Much like a parent when a child brings home a bad report card, but for real, we threw it out. Okay, while I love the report card spin on these Oreos because look, I'm fully aligned, ah, here's my one PSA. If you don't like your food and it's packaged like Oreos or cereal or whatever, please give it away. Bring it to work, post about it on your social media for your friends, just please don't toss it. I, I'm not throwing this out and I'm gonna let my son try these. If he doesn't like them, I'll wind up giving them away on a buy nothing board. I actually wish I hadn't taken that last bite of that chocolate cookie. I've got little bits of Count Chocula stuck in my mouth. 
I don't like it. All right, last but hopefully not least, we've got ourselves a 110th birthday celebration Oreo. It looks like we're keeping things basic on this. It looks like it's basically a confetti cake flavored cream between two Oreo cookies. No need to overthink this one, and I like that they went basic. There's definitely a cakey smell emanating off this cookie. Not like a good birthday cake, but like the cake that we've been conditioned to accept as cake flavor coming from, you know, processed companies like, say, Oreo. All right. I do like the addition of the colorful little sprinkles in here, which is a really nice touch Oreo. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's split in two. It's got both the vanilla and the chocolate cream in the middle going half and half. Visually, this looks really good. But you know what, really taste is the only way to determine what really matters here today. This is gimmickry is what this is. There is a nice, like slight crunch from the sprinkles that are in the middle, but that's it. More or less, this is basically a run of the mill Oreo. But you know what? Run-of-the-mill Oreos are fantastic, so I'm not complaining about this cookie. Look, if you're expecting a birthday cake, swing and a miss Oreo, which does seem to be the theme of the day, unfortunately. And it's not that it's disappointing at all. It's a tasty cookie. I dig it fine as is. They actually have done a birthday cake Oreo in the past, though, that did taste like a birthday cake, so I'm a little confused as to why they didn't just reuse that recipe for this one. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine, I like Oreos, and this is a good Oreo. Amazon customer agrees with me, calling these meh. Taste very much like regular Oreos and giving them three stars. The filling is half chocolate, half vanilla with confetti. I have to try really hard to convince myself of any resemblance of a confetti cake flavor as it's quite chocolatey. Tastes a lot like a regular Oreo. Whoa, 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 whoa. A regular Oreo is only three stars in your world? You apologize right now, Amazon customer. Three stars on a regular Oreo? Get the f Dana, who has a lot more respect for cookies than Amazon customer, gives these five stars and calls them very yummy. I love these cookies. They're now my favorite Oreo cookie that I will miss greatly when gone. They came quickly and shipped nicely. And finally, speaking of things that came quickly, Omo Eke gives these five stars and writes, yum. It's literally just vanilla birthday cake with sprinkles and chocolate cake if the had a threesome with Oreos. Amazing nonetheless, fave Oreo as of right now. Well, you know, I think it's apropos that we end on that review because at the top I promised you a three-way of cookie samples and we're ending on a literal three-way in Omoweke's mouth. So tell me, have you tried any of these cookies? You know, agree, disagree, comment below and let me have it. And thank you as always for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.